Hello there, this is AM the Ocarina Player, and welcome to the first installment of Let's Talk Goose, where basically I answer ocarina-related questions. Uh, some of them aren't ocarina-related, but eh, that's what makes it fun. Turn around, bird. Thank you. Okay, um, first I'm going to let you guys know, um, some of the questions you asked, I was rather surprised how good they were. Um... Second of all, some of them were a little technical, so I had to write them down, so I will be kind of reading off of an idiot sheet for for some of the questions, for some of them. Uh, but not all of them. I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to try and do this relatively freehand. I mean, although, as the classic saying says, uh, practice makes perfect, right? Uh, I would be filming outside, but it's uh, raining cats and dogs on and off out there, plus it's pretty nippy. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right. Question one. Master of Kauai asks, can I have a cupcake? Good gosh, I would love to give you a cupcake, my wonderful subscribers, but unfortunately I'd probably have to do like this and <laughs> into the screen like that. Sorry. Sorry, no cupcake. I can always send you a recipe for cupcakes, and that might help. <laughs> All right. Um, second question. Christina Hewoon Park asks, what are your preferred ranges and what's the difference between back and breath pressure? Okay, um, first, personal ranges. I guess C, since it's the most straightforward, but I tend to be a pretty abstract thinking musician, so I, I generally like whatever range is needed to get a song done. I mean, I, I'm not a, a very close-minded person when it, when it comes to music. If you need this to get it done, then you gotta get it done, you know? Um, breath pressure and back pressure, what are the differences? Breath pressure is the force by which, is the force of how hard you're having to blow into the ocarina, as in how much breath you're having to push out to get it up to pitch. Back pressure is the, is how much control you have holding that breath in, like if you're having to release it slowly for a really long piece. Um, they both essentially refer to how much physical control in your breathing is required for playing either the instrument itself or the song. I hope that helps. Really, I hope that helps, because I kind of had to look that one up myself. I never really thought about things like that. Um, uh, really fast, um, ocarinas that have, for example, rising breath means you blow softer for the lower notes and you breathe harder as you go up the scale. Um... I'd, I'd say most, there are a lot of ocarinas out there, I'm pretty darn sure, that are uh, rising breath. Because, um, not all of them, some of them are. Usually they'll say. Okay, next question. Carmelita asks, do you prefer the Osawa fingering or the split hole and why? Okay, um, a split hole, I'm going to wager you're referring to per se, um, Italian or specifically European style ocarinas. Osawa is probably going to be the Japanese sweet potato. I would have to say the uh, I'd have to say the sweet potato Japanese style. Um, I've never been crazy for the whole split fingering idea like what you see on a recorder. It's, it's not that practical to me. Um, but maybe that's just me. However, if you try to take my Z fan off me, I may have to eat you. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm kidding. Um, Osawa, I'd probably have to say. I, I prefer the Japanese sweet potato style. But that's also because, lack of experience, I don't think I've ever used an honest-to-goodness Italian ocarina. I mean, I have my Z-Fan, which is Austrian-made, and I love it, but it still follows the 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 incremental release of fingers um, sweet potato style. Okay, next. Uh, TikTok Ock asks, what are the advantages and disadvantages of both the Japanese and the Taiwanese sub-hole fingering style. Okay, I'm going to have to set the computer down for this one because I brought a couple of props with me. Excuse you, bird. Yes, you can just sit there on the nice, soft, cushy fiber. Hopefully the computer won't fall over. There we go, a little more stable. Okay, I have two ocarinas in my collection that... I pull one out of the magic bag. Always have it with me. I'm such a nerd. Okay, now... Uh, fingering style differences. This is Japanese. Um, you probably can't see, but um, on this one, the sub holes are right above where my thumb is. 
there's two right there and they're both controlled by the right hand only the Taiwanese is where the faint oh, where the sub holes are controlled individual by the individual hands to be honest I like the Taiwanese a bit better because I, I think it allows for a bit more ergonomic control um, acoustic control I would also give it the plus on that um, the Japanese style fingering which you also see on a dragon tooth ocarina I'm I, I would say I'm not as huge a fan of this because nine times out of ten I find that the pitch is practically the same there's no differentiation between whether you drop your finger for the right hole or the left hole I find I'm usually just dropping both fingers regardless um, the Taiwanese I find I can drop one finger and you will actually hear an audible difference maybe that's just me I don't know but as I said um Japanese or Taiwanese I take the Taiwanese don't, uh, but I love my sonoro my sonoro don't kid me wrong it's a very good and good musical instrument but this one I'd say just ekes it out okay I hope that helped uh, next question Alessandro Ugar Ugarte asks do you like classical Italian ocarinas I can't says I do since I don't think I've ever used one sorry uh, TikTok Ock asks again what is a good ocarina for playing outdoors probably one that won't break how about that <laughs> actually um I would probably say um e even just a typical Ulta C Focalink or steam ocarina like this I w I would be more than happy to play outside um, the reason most people ask that question is because of condensation issues um, uh, most ocarina playing I would not recommend for outdoor cold but maybe that's because we get minus 30 degrees centigrade out here where I live um, if you live in a slightly more tepid climate I would say uh, I'd say any good 12 hole 12 hole sweet potato style is good um pendant ocarinas actually do quite well and do surprisingly well i find uh the only thing that i cannot recommend would be the dragon tooth um i um i love the dragon tooth don't get me wrong but i really think that uh mr songbird needs to re wake up computer needs to redesign the mouthpiece a little bit to allow for better airflow and better better reduction of condensation on a dragon tooth that's that's just me maybe it's because I have a numbered model maybe he's fixed it over over the years I don't know I really don't but anyway um too long didn't read um any good 12 hole ocarina that you're comfortable with outside um I would not recommend for cold outdoor playing like if you can see your breath because I find once the clay gets cold it doesn't matter what what kind of ocarina you're playing there's gonna be condensation also I find a warm ocarina tends to te it tends to sound better maybe that's just me maybe maybe because I do live halfway to the North Pole I don't know okay and the last question we have question number seven uh, Christina Ga and Galagos asks are the fingerless gloves you make just for ocarina players no you got cold hands treat yourself get yourself a good pair of gloves the reason I made them the way they are is because I was more or less hoping to attract um, the niche market of musicians and ocarina players. That's that's kind of what I was hoping for. But if you got cold hands, but you need your fingers free for something, and you don't like stuff getting caught in the glove like that, then they're good for anything else. I've been able to do plier work, um, needle nose plier work, or um. I, I can't quite crochet in them. I mean, I could if I had to if my hands were really cold, but I think I'd just stick them in the toaster oven for a few minutes first. <laughs> um, but, no, the fingerless gloves I make, they're not just for ocarina players. If you got cold hands, treat yourself. I'm going to be listing a bunch of uh, nice of nice new uh, superwash wool slouch hats and, some glo and, and uh, matching gloves as well fairly soon. Don't mind me. I think my train train of thought just blew up. Anyway, um, that's it for all the questions. I hope, I hope I was able to answer them all, and I hope I'm not too grating a voice to listen to. Hmm? Little birdie here doesn't mind listening, though. Then again, she's probably getting kind of cold, so she's getting a little grumpy. Um. 
thank you so much for all the wonderful questions. It was a blast answering them and researching on them. If you have, if anybody missed out on the first segment, um, feel free to drop questions down below. Um, at this point, also, I have a couple of uh, minor announcements to make. Um, and I'm sorry if I say um too much. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm so socially inept. Okay. Announcement one is... If you are interested in gloves, there's a link down below. Just click the load more and read, okay? Second big announcement. If you've been to my YouTube channel recently and have noticed a large number of videos missing, it's because I deleted them myself, okay? YouTube is changing a lot of their u their user end agreement licensing stuff. whole lot of technical shenanigans going on, as well as, um, the, as, well as the Canadian government up to a whole load of shenanigans as well. Long story short, things are changing in government legislation as well as YouTube's uh, copyright to make the fines a lot heavier on people who use copyrighted material. So I figured I would save myself a whole load of grief and take down videos that either have matched content or are, are just really old and don't display proper skill. I mean, there are some I might redo but the large majority of them I will not be redoing. However, there is a loophole. Um, if you're aware of my blog called uh, Anything on Ocarina, follow the link to my blog in the description down below, and you can watch them all there. Um, Blogger is not so heavily reg reg Google Blogger is not as heavily regulated as something like YouTube, so uh, this may be subject to change, so I might have to take them down, but... There's lots of other things on my blog other than just musical performances. I also write uh, reviews. And I've recently been doing um, uh, Kalanchoe Care. I've got a, got a bunch of little plants. I'm a first-time keeper, so it's, it's kind of been fun to document keeping them. They're just a funky little plant. I'll, you'll probably see them if you go to the blog. But anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, I took down a whole bunch of videos. Uh, go to the blog if you want to watch them. Uh, I will not be doing any more anime-related songs. Um, uh, video game songs, I might do. I mean, Okami is okay to do, because so far nothing I've ever done of Okami has ever gotten a ding. Might be subject to change. I don't know, okay? Um, I will still do requests, but it depends on the material. It depends on what it is you're asking me to do. Um, uh, Studio Ghibli is still okay for me. To, is still okay to do, technically speaking. Um, those might be blo things like that might be blog only. So, really, don't be afraid to stop by the blog. There's there's tons of stuff to read. There's tons of stuff to see. And please, please feel free to help support another art uh, another fellow artist out there. Stop by my shop. Thank you all for the wonderful questions. It was a blast doing them. Loads of love. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.